morning. Good morning once again. Uh, my name is, bon is Pastor Bonfasa Safari Wenye, a senior pastor, Abundant Grace Outreach Ministries, located in Umoja 3. And we will be talking about entering God's rest. Let's pray so that we may begin together. Father, we thank you. We worship you for this good morning, this wonderful time you have given to us to share your word. I pray that you open our ears, open the ears of my listeners and my viewers, that this word will bring uh, impact and will bring change to everyone who listens and receives because your word is life and it is active. Bless your word, bless your hearers. In Jesus' name we pray. So we want us to, as I have ta uh, I I'd said that we'll be talking about entering God's rest, I want us to get to our, our Bibles and read a scripture from the book of 2 Chronicles, chapter number 15, and verses 1 to 3. And I will read, The Spirit of God came upon Azariah, son of Oded, he went out to meet Asa and said to him, Listen to me, Asa, and all Judah and Benjamin. The Lord is with you when you are with him. If you seek him, he will, uh, if you seek him, he will be found by you. But if you forsake him, he will forsake you. So just from the scripture that we have read, God desires to give his people rest. God desires that his children may have the rest that he has promised in his word. And for us to enjoy the rest that God promises, he gives us three eternal facts that every individual, be a Jew, be a Gentile, be a nation, will embrace so that you enter to this promised God's eternal rest, uh, this God's rest. Uh, the Bible says, has given, the Bible has given us three points, which I get from verse number two. The Bible is telling us three things that are, that are very fundamental. One, he says, the Lord is with you when you are with him. That is number one. God tells us that he is with us when we are with him. And number two, he says, if you seek him, he will be found of him. We will find him. And number three, he says, if you forsake him, he will also forsake you. So for us to enter in God's rest, we want to make sure that every time in our, in our workstations, as we wake up, as we walk, as we drive, as we do our daily businesses, as we carry out our daily businesses, God requires us to be with him. It is us to make sure that we are on the side of God. We bring him to our side. For he says, when you are with him, then himself will be with us. And number two, he tells us, if we seek him, he will be found of us. We will find him. Every time we give ourselves to seek God, every time we give ourselves to seek God pertaining any issue that pertains our lives, pertaining our marriages, our relationship, our our day-to-day -day life, he promises that we will find him. And number three, he gives us a warning and he says, if we forsake him, then he will forsake us you will realize that it is man who forsakes God. It is not God who forsakes man. It is, God, it is man who leaves God. God does not leave his people. It is man who leave God. But he tells us if we hold on these uh, three facts, these eternal facts, uh, God will be with us. God will be for us. And God will give us his rest. I want to emphasize on this rest according to, to the, in the same scripture, in the same book, uh, verses number 8 and 9. The scripture says, 
that when Asa heard these words, and the prophets of Azariah, son of Oded, the prophet, he took courage. He, he removed the detestable idols from the whole land of Judah and Benjamin and from the towns he captured in the hill of, the, of Ephraim. He replied, the altar of the Lord that was in front of the particle of the Lord's temple. Then he assembled all Judah, uh, all Judah and Benjamin, and the people of Ephraim, Manasseh and Simeon, who had settled among them for large numbers, had come over him, over to him from Israel, where they saw, when they saw the Lord God was with him. So the first thing uh, King Asa does when he received the word of the Lord by the prophet. The Bible says he did away with all detestable idols, anything that was not pleasing God. Asa uh, akin to the voice of God and he responded to the word of God by the prophet by taking away all the detestable things, idols, and anything that was not pleasing God, anything that could drive God away from man. He, he took it away from him. And then from there, when people saw, when the men and people from Judah and Benjamin saw that God was with him, was with uh, King Asa, they came to him, they assembled together. And if you read first number 10, he says, they assembled together at Jerusalem in the third month of the 15th year of Asa's reign. And at that time, they sacrificed to the Lord 700 head of cattle and 7,000 sheep and goals from the plan that they had brought back. They entered into a covenant to seek the Lord, the God of, of their fathers, with all their hearts and soul. All who would not seek the Lord, the God of Israel, were to be put to death, whether small or great, man or woman. They took an oath to the Lord with a loud acc acclamation, saying, with shouting and with the trumpets and horns, all Judah rejoiced about the oath because they had sworn it wholeheartedly. They sought, they sought God eagerly and he was found by them. So the Lord gave them rest on every side. So just as we, I have said that when God promises to give us his rest and he is willing to give us even today, this, the, the, the king, King Asa, having heard the word of God, he responded, and the people gathered together. He brought people together and they sought God. They entered to a moment of seeking God. They entered to a moment of sacrificing unto the Lord. Because we have seen God saying that he is with us when we are with him. So King Asa and all Judah and Jerusalem, people from Manasseh and Simeon, gathered together and they made sure they sacrificed unto the Lord. They entered to a covenant of seeking God. And the Bible says they sought God eagerly with all their mind, with all their soul. And the scripture clearly says, and God was found to them. This is the important part when you find God in your life. When you are with God in your journey, in whatever you do, every time you are with God, the advantage of this is seen in the last part. The Bible says they sought him eagerly and, the, and he was found by them. So God gave them rest. It is God who gives people rest. We don't find rest by, by becoming stressed, by becoming stressful, by doing uh, th things up haphazardly, trying to make things work together. But it is God who gives us rest. And for us to find this rest is only very simple, following the steps as God has outlined them in his word making sure we are with God so that God himself will be with us. I charge you and I challenge you this morning that as you wake up and you get before you get to your daily routine, as you get to your work, as you drive, as you work, as you transact, every whatever you are doing today, make sure God is with you. Make sure God is with you by you being with God. Make sure that you set time to seek him because he has promised when you seek him, he will find you. 
make sure you don't forsake him. For when you are with him and when you seek him, he will be found of you and he will give you rest. The scripture says he gave them rest every sign. It is my prayer that God will give us as a people and as a nation and as an individuals, wherever we will be, it is my prayer that God will give us rest every side, will give us rest. There are people that are stressed, men people are stressed because of uh, the, the way life is, the kind of life we are in, economy, sicknesses, diseases, things that are not uh, working the way we expect. But in everything, in whatever situation, God, uh, God tells us that he will give us rest. So I want you to, to, to set a time and be encouraged to walk and to work with God. It is good to pray and to trust God that he will give you rest. And as you are about to begin and before we wind up, before you begin everything and before we wind up, I want to give you an opportunity to receive Jesus, to draw near to him so that he will be with you, that when you seek him, he will be found of you, and that he will be there for you every time. You are there and you are not born again. I urge you and I ask you kindly to receive Jesus by making a short prayer, and he will come to your heart as he has promised. Pray this prayer after me, and Jesus will come right into your heart. Pray, Lord Jesus, I come to you. I am a sinner. I repent my sins. And I pray that you forgive me, write my name in the book of life, wash me by your precious blood, cleanse me and make me your, your son and make me the kind of person you want me to be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let me pray for you as you get to your business. Father God, I thank you for the sharing of your word. I thank you because of your word. I pray that this word will not come back to you void. It will produce the desired results and to give my hearers, my listeners, my viewers a good platform to walk forward and to have better results today. As they seek you, you'll be found of them. And you'll never leave us as you have promised that you'll never leave us, nor forsake us. We thank you, we bless you, because we know you have had, you have had our prayer. And we know you have answered our prayer according to your promise. This we pray, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Shalom. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.